Good morning, Smith Asian Freshman Center. I'm Jessica Tomas with another awesome episode of PNN. So if you're still looking for something to do with that special someone, there will be a 30 Phantoms concert by the Columbus Orchestra in River Center in Columbus, Georgia. They will be performing Broadway musicals such as Les Miserables and Sweeney Todd. Now, in school news, the PNN students have been working on short suspense films. Please enjoy one right now. to download? Well, here's Stephanie Sada with a few apps to consider with the top apps of the week. Hey, Smith Station, it's Stephanie Sada back with your apps of the week. I'm also here with Jessica Tomas demonstrating the games. First up is Duck Life. In this game, you start off with one duck. You have to train this duck in different stages. Once you accomplish new levels, you can race with ducks to get extra coins. If you beat certain ducks, you can get a ticket to the tournament to play for even more coins. Next up is Doodle Sprint. In this game, you're a stick man and you're racing to see how far you can go. The stick man jumps, slides, and much more. Race your friends to see who gets further. Hope you enjoy this app. Last is Popograph. This is an editing app designed mainly for social networks. You can take the main subject of your picture and get it to look as though it is 3D or floating. Hope you try these apps out. This has been Stephanie Sita, PNN. The entertainment world has been buzzing lately. Here's Paige McDonald and Brandy Ford with more information. Good morning. This is Paige. And Brandy. With your entertainment. Endless Love comes out this Friday on Valentine's Day. It was originally wrote by Scott Spencer in 1979. This movie is about a girl that comes from a pri privileged family that falls in love with a hardcore criminal. Her family doesn't approve of him at first, but they end up happily ever after. You should go check it out in theaters tomorrow. Good morning, Smith Station Freshman Center. Now that basketball season is finally over, soccer season has kicked off. Now here are some interviews from your soccer players. Hi, I'm here with Sarah Newman. So Sarah, how do you feel about the season finally starting? Well, everyone's working really hard and I think we're gonna have a great season and our first game is this Friday. Hi, I'm here with Bradley Harris. So Bradley, what position do you play and what do you do at that position? I play striker and I score the goals. All right, thank you. Hi, I'm here with Jordan Pitts. So Jordan, what do y'all do at practice? Uh, we scrimmage, we do passing drills, running and shooting drills. <laughs> All right, thank you. Good morning, Smith Station Freshman Center. On February 10th, 1940, Tom and Jerry was created by Hannah Barbara and debuted by MGM. February 11th, 1962, the Beatles taped 10 songs for their first album. February 12th, 1963, bus boycott started in Macon, Georgia. February 13th, 1943, the Woman's Marine Corps was created. February 14th, 1951, Sugar Ray Robinson defeated Jake LaMotta and took the middleweight title. Thank you. Mackenzie Wood on PNM. Now, let's watch a short suspense film put together by some students in the PNN class. Are you taking a test too? What number are you on? Who are you talking, talking to? to? There was just someone sitting right there. No, there
With more information on all national sports, especially the Olympics, here's Caleb Carroll with more information. The Winter Olympics are now underway. As of Tuesday, Team USA is in fifth place with a total of five medals, one medal behind Russia and two behind Canada, who leads the game so far with seven medals overall. Back in the U.S., the MLB is beginning spring training as teams prepare to enter the 2014 season. The Atlanta Braves are looking to win it all again after their postseason was cut short by the Dodgers in the National League Championship Series last October. The Boston Red Sox are looking for a back-to-back -back World Series championship this season, but have to deal with the loss of Jared Saltamaca to the Marlins and Jacoby Ellisberry to the Yankees. And speaking of the Yankees, Alex Rodriguez finally dropped his lawsuits against the MLB and will accept his 162-game suspension. His suspension from baseball will cost him $25 million in salary, not to mention the $10 million in legal fees from the lawsuits. I'm Kayla Carroll with PNN. I'm Jessica Tomas. Have a great day, Smith Station.